been a while since I posted a video and that is due to many things I have going on in my life right now I had uh, a slight job change and, um, and I've been planning a trip, uh, a motorcycle trip for me family would have finally were applying vacation for um, uh, in March so been going on with a bunch of things and honestly I haven't even shot a roll of film been doing other things I've been uh, doing some pinhole photography I've been doing um, some uh, solo graphs and I've been uh, doing some mesalliances as they say in uh, Francais or most of the world for that matter. I've been marrying um, digital camera with um, old classic lenses from Nikon uh, for purpose of um, micro photography and here's a picture of uh, one of these things. So anyways, um, about a month ago I got a camera back from repair and this camera I've sent out. Well, actually, here's a, here's the backstory. I bought a very cool um, Rolly Court three on eBay, very cheap, like twenty dollar Rolly Court. And it came in, and I thought maybe I should get it repaired. It's rather good condition, though. The leather it's not peeling off or anything. Let's let's send it out. So I sent it out to my uh, favorite repair person. Mark uh, Hansen and about nine weeks passed and Mr. Hansen tells me well camera's ready for repair it's gonna be 150 bucks and I said jeez oh, you know now I'm not gonna repair it it's uh, it's quite a bit of money and I wanna spend it on some other things so anyway so uh, now a while later I went on one of those auction sites and I found another camera this time it was a Rolleiflex auto, uh, Automat and I've had Automat before, it was pristine condition Automat but uh, I sold it like an idiot, I sold it for I don't know 270 bucks or something like that really really cheap um, for what it was worth to me but I needed money to pay for something else, other camera, so I sold that one uh, so anyways, um, I got the Rolleiflex um, and it was in uh, non-working condition. It turned out to have a frozen shutter, frozen focus, um, bad mirror, just a lot of things were wrong with it. So I sent it out to um, Mark Hansen and I go, Mark, would you be able to fix this? And I need a rather fast. Sure, he says. So he expedited the process and um, a while back uh, a few, sometime later I got this camera back from repair. It, cool with, it came with cool accessories. Um, stay. It came with um, this really cool rolly uh, lens cap. It's really cool how they made it back then. I mean it was stamped from one piece but it's really cool. And I got this with, and I got it with a really heavy uh, hood. It's um it looks vintage. I don't like the word vintage, but um, it looks like it was made out of brass or something, and it's got some wear marks on it. It says top on it too in English. Hmm. Anyways, uh, so this is the the hood with it. I don't know if it's original. Could be original. Doesn't bear any rolly marks on it, but it's cool. So let me put it on for you. Where, where is the top? It says top somewhere. Come on. Oh, hello. So, yeah. There you go. So I got this camera and now it's in fully working condition, even though it's not the prettiest ever, but it works fine. So and I'm not gonna do a review or an overview of this camera because I've done uh, an automat overview once and this is the link to the video. Uh, but uh, I just finished a roll and I thought well, I gotta record a video. It's been almost two months since I made a video. So, I rec so I'm recording this uh, just to show you my uh, one of my newest ac acquisitions. Um, it's not the newest, I got uh, another one. 
and I'm going to share that with you in just a second. This one I just ran a roll through, took some pictures of, of the kids uh, watching their cartoon, um, doing things that kids do, and I shot a Tri-X. I normally shoot, um, my favorite film to shoot is um, Fuji Across, but this time I was inside and indoors and it's too cold up to go outside. I don't, I, I don't do winter. Winter is crap. So anyways, uh, I shot the roll and I'm gonna go process it and probably, I don't know, later today, maybe. Um, but um, yeah, this is the Rolly, Rolly Flex Automat uh, in fully working condition. And not to slurp Mark's uh, balls, but Mark is an excellent repairman, fast precise and fair with his pricing. Uh, there's another one in California, doesn't matter what's his name, uh, but his prices are high because um, he's been in the market for a while and I guess he built a name for himself so he can charge ridiculous prices. I can't afford these things um, repaired at such high prices, so a hundred 80 bucks for repair from Mark Hansen uh, once every I don't know, few months it's not bad. I don't buy motorcycle tires so I buy so I repair a camera. Or I don't go out to the bar so I can repair a camera. Uh, or I don't buy a new pair of jeans and I use the old one so I can do repair a camera. Anyways, uh, let me show you my other acquisition and let me give you some details on um, why I bought it, why I went crazy and bought that particular camera. So, hold on. So, here it is. Whoa, this is a Godzilla of, uh, of um, film cameras, roll film cameras. This is a Mamiya RB67 uh, with uh, with a 180mm f4.5 lens and this is my second attempt at this particular camera and I had one when my daughter was born in 2010 I bought one thinking oh I'm gonna shoot that camera it's so cool I, yeah I want that camera yay so I what I did I traded in I traded in my D200 even even exchange for um, for a, one of these things it came with two lenses, 90 millimeter and 180 millimeter. I was so excited. I took it out and I put a roll of film and I went outside and I shot it and, and then I put it in a bag and I kept it there for about a year and a half. And then I sold it so I could purchase more cameras. Then a while back I go, oh man, I really missed that camera. It was a good camera and I, I don't have to take it outside. It's heavy as hell. It's, it's cumbersome to use. and. So a thought popped in my head. You want a film camera? You want a good quality lenses? Don't have money for hassle blood? Buy a Mamiya RB67. It's a good deal. $190 for this thing, you know? Can't beat that. It's in pristine. No, it's in good condition. Uh, it works. It takes... The lens is sharp as heck. You know, I, I did some... Um, portraiture over um, in the past month or two and I printed 11 by 14 out of these things and it's, uh, it's awesome and I'm gonna share these pictures with you at the end of this video so yeah this this camera is, is really neat and it's heavy sure but uh, I don't take it out I use it for portraiture only and I use it with strobes well I don't have any professional strobes because I'm, I'm cheap so I use Nikon SB28 so yeah it's kinda like mesalliance where you use this um, classic camera you know this excellent piece of machinery with, with like common lens like like SB28 lens you know, commoner so so that's what I've been uh, using this camera for and it's it's heavy and like I said it's so it's, cool camera, don't get me wrong, it's a good camera, it's an extremely good camera, but when you go outside, 
it's, it's, it's not very, it's not very uh, easy to work with. But anyways, uh, for studio work, excellent. And it's got ve bellow focusing, so you can focus in really, really close. And not to slurp person, another person's balls, but there's an excellent video on YouTube how to work with one of these things, how to strip it, because there's a lot of intricate stuff inside, and I'm not really gonna mess with it too much or making a video. So what I'll do is um, I'll link that in my description. I'll link that video so you can watch it. And this guy did an excellent job, and his voice is a little bit better than mine. Um, but anyway, so that was my. Oh, oh man, my foot almost got. Anyways, this this was my past two months with these two cameras and in particular and I hope that once I get settled in my new position in my new job I'll be able to make more videos um, I'll be when my when I'm done with my motorcycle trip or my when I'm done with other things I'm about to do I have more free time to get outside and, and shoot and I'm definitely gonna uh, show you um, a video on uh, connecting Nikon DSLR with Nikon classic lenses for macro work and I'm gonna take you into details and I'll take you outside to, sh to shoot with it you know hell why not but for now it's like 15 degrees outside I don't want to be outside it's it's bad so I stay inside uh, I drink uh, ginger tea and um, uh, mess with these cameras. Uh, I have a little um, nozzle blower. So I just like all, all the cameras. And one time my wife goes, "Do you have to kiss these things every freaking night?" I go, "Yes, honey, every night. I kiss you good night, and I kiss my cameras good night. What? I mean, oh man, yeah, I kiss the kids good night too. But apparently it bothers her. Um, anyways, and also coming up, I'm gonna make a video on." Where, how this all started, how did my perversion led me to where I am now? And I'll show you my cabinet full of cameras and full of other camera related stuff. Um, so yeah, that's um, that's the video and I, if you didn't enjoy it, it's okay. I mean, there was nothing to enjoy here, just to look at the cameras and me yap. But anyways, I'd like to thank you all for subscribing to my channel. I got 300 subscribers, so about three times as much as Westboro Baptist Church has members. Yay! I'm doing something good. Anyways, guys, keep shooting film, keep the film alive, and come back for more videos. Until then.